y'all. Welcome to Freedom Makers. I'm Amanda, and today I've got my dad with me, and we are walking the property, um, making plans, changing a few things, and we've got some surprises for y'all. So, here we go. So, we're walking over here, guys. We were going to um, get rid of all this netting that I used the last year, and we're going to push hog this, but we found a little surprise. He got his head stuck in there. <laughs> Yeah. That was an evil laugh. <laughs> if, 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 if you, you want to kill a snake, oh, it put stinks. some of this net out. Y'all, it smells like dead fish, like rotten fish. And you know, this is not a bad idea to think about, you know, if you have snake issues, uh, there may be an application to use this right here, maybe around a certain area where you normally have snakes. Yeah, he sure got caught up in there. Yeah, I he, mean, you'll get caught up in there and. How many feet long is that? Well, let's see. Oh. He's three foot long. No, he's three and a half feet long. And he's thick. That's a big old black fella. snake. It's a black snake. <laughs> he stinks. If you're not a black snake, y'all let me know what it really is. But I think it's a black snake. Ugh, yuck. Well, what are you doing now? I'm getting this post out of the ground. Well, okay. You don't want to rip the. Uh, Things are, I couldn't. Manda, you work so hard. My goodness. You need to take it easy. There's not any time. Well. Do you have a pocket knife? I got a pocket, but there's no knife in it. Oh. <laughs> are you gonna help me? No. I'm gonna watch you. Now, don't worry about it. Just come over here and do that one. Okay. And we'll come back to that one. I'll do it. Okay. We're going to call you he That's for sure. Look I'm going to steal your camera in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Watch them muscles. Go ahead and pick it up. Here. I'll let you carry this. Okay, so I don't have my tripod with me today, so I'm gonna have to just do this like a before and after shot for you guys, but I thought you'd like to see the transformation. As is, I have tomatoes planted against these cattle panels and some marigolds and whatnot, strawberries, peppers. And these blue things have contained um, several things. We've got spinach in this one, celery, and then green onion, and there's some butter lettuce in that last one. We're gonna remove these I'm going to be, um, Dad's going to help me in a minute, and we're going to put, i got to pull up these onions and stuff, but um, a cattle panel here, just like these, for another row of tomatoes. And then out here, where this is, these were there, and we're not using them anymore, or for right now, anyway. So, we're going to put a cattle panel here, and then one back here arching, just like we did with these peas. And in those, um, probably one day this next week or so, I'll be able to plant cucumbers and that viney okra that I want to try. So, um, it's a lot to get done. I have to go to work tonight. And so, I have about an hour to get this done in. So, Dad and I are going to um, be working on this for the next hour. And then, I have to get ready for work. So, we're going to see how much we can get done. So, it's the next day. Yesterday I had to go to work. I was here to help with quite a few things and then dad did a lot when I left. So I thought I'd show you guys what all we accomplished. So before I left for work, we moved the blue things over and I helped him put this panel up and then these two panels that are arching up, there's a space of about three feet in between back there. He took the dirt from right here and put around both of those after I left as well as um, back here, he put a little bit of a mound um, to help with erosion around the tomatoes. And then the rest, he backed up the truck right here and um, piled in the compost right here. And this compost, I am gonna move, I had a pallet here, and it's been weeks since I've mowed right here um, because the pallet's here, but I had the newspaper stacked up right here. I'm gonna move all of this and be putting newspaper down to spread that compost out this away so that it will be level with this first little bit here where this is. So we want it to be straight across and we're hoping to put some squash and zucchini in 
um, possibly this next week. So we'll need another load, but we are going to use some of this um, because we did have erosion from that horrible rain. And so we're going to be smoothing all this out and see how far it gets us, and then we'll get more for the rest. While I was gone, he also used the tractor to pull out all these limbs. Remember, there were limbs down all throughout here, partially covering the garden at this little spot down here. He used the tractor and pulled all those out to the burn pile. And then on this side of the garden where that hackberry tree is that I showed you guys, I think in the last garden update, um, we had a limb that was kind of hanging and he went ahead and cut that and we'll pull that out this weekend. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing our work. Um, we sure enjoy doing it and showing you guys. I hope it inspires you most of all. Um, and then that snake, crazy, huh? So I don't know what we're gonna do with the rest of that wiring, but um, yeah, that was kind of creepy to see. And so close to the house, it was a little alarming for me. So if you have any old fashioned or unusual ways to deter snakes, I'd love to hear about those. We try to keep the, ga the grass really short, um, especially around the house, because with a toddler, you know, you can never be too careful. So um, if you guys have any old school ways of keeping snakes away from your home, I'd love to hear that. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you and I'll catch you next time. Bye.